What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to convert strings and integers in Dart. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to convert strings and integers. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to convert strings and integers and doubles to each other. So if we've got a string, we'll convert it to an integer. If we've got an integer, we'll convert it to a string, and we'll do the same thing with doubles. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Dart videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic Dart starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it convert.dart. So let's just create some variables and we could just call them A, B, and C. And let's set A equal to an integer. Let's set B equal to a string. Notice it's in quotation marks. And now let's take C and add those two together. Now, normally we couldn't add those two together because you can't add an integer and a string together. So we have to convert this string to an integer if we want to add these two together. Here, let's say string to int. So to do that, we can set C equal to A plus, so we need to convert our string here to an integer, and we can do that using the parse function. So we want to change this to an integer, so we call int dot parse, and then pass in whatever we want to parse. So we want to parse B, All right? So here, if we want to make sure this worked okay, let's say um, A plus B equals C. And if this works, this should say 40 plus one equals 41. If it doesn't, we'll just get an error. So let's save this and run it, head over to our terminal. I'm in my C dart stuff directory and let's run dart convert.dart. And we see 40 plus one equals 41. So clearly our string has been converted successfully to an integer. So that's cool, it's pretty simple. We could do the same thing for string to double. Let's go var d, e, and f. And let's set d equal to 40. Let's set E equal to, I don't know, 0 0.1. And again, that's a string. And let's set F equal to D plus, and instead of int dot parse, now it's gonna be double dot parse. And we wanna pass in E. This will convert our E, which is this string, to a double. So now again, we can go print D plus E equals F. Now if we save this, head back over to our terminal, run this guy again. We see 40 plus 0 0.1 equals 40.1, which is what we would expect if this string got converted to a double, which it did, and it added. So super simple, and it's really all there is to it. Now we want to convert an integer to a string, and this is a little bit different. So let's go var g, h, and i, I don't know, and let's set g equal to 40. Let's set h equal to a string of one. And now let's set i equal to, now we wanna not convert this, we wanna convert this integer to a string. And to do that, we use the two string function. So just call our variable that we wanna convert, g, and then just go dot to string. And that's a function, and that's it. And then we wanna add in h. So this is 40 and one. Now these are gonna be two strings, right? So if we print this out, and let's say g, plus h equals i, this should be 40 a string plus one a string equals i a string. So when you add two strings together, they just sort of mush them together, they concatenate it, right? So this should equal 401. We're not doing actual math, we're just smushing them together. So if this works, if this 40 has been converted to a string, we should get, you know, 401. Let's see if that works. Let's save this, head back over to our terminal run this guy one more time. And sure enough, 40 plus one equals 401. Because again, we're not doing math. These are both strings, we just smush them together and we get 401. So you can do the same thing with doubles. I'm not going to do an example of that. So, uh, you know, we could go like this, this should be 40.11 if we run this. So we head back over here real quick, run this guy one more time. Sure enough, 40.11. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that back. So super easy to convert integers and strings to each other. Same thing for doubles with Dart, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, 
And check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. That's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.